Sound spades, and the timer's already running, so there's no time to waste. If you have any hope of hearing both Yanni and Laurel, it's gonna be with this video. First of all, the original file is a recording of actor singer J. Aubrey Jones. To find it, you have to look up Laurel on vocabulary.com. Laurel. By the way, Yanni does not exist no matter how you spell it. If you look closely at the waveform of the sound bites, you'll notice that the lines are very clean and well defined. And when you look at the whole waveform, most of the louder sounds fall below 1500 hertz. When the soundbite was being re-recorded for the viral video, a lower quality mic, probably a phone, was recording a lower quality speaker, probably off a laptop, and the result is a noisy recording with very different characteristics and frequencies above 1500 hertz being much more prominent. When humans speak, the combination of sounds produced by our voice boxes are decoded into words, provided our brain recognizes that combination of frequencies. Even slight changes affect the words you hear, and that differs according to things like your nationality, your primary language, your accent, your age, and the amount of hearing loss you've sustained throughout your life. When you're listening to a short audio clip like this, your brain is trying to make sense of the sound. But here's the thing. You don't know how low or high-pitched the original voice in the recording was. You're told to listen for one of two words, so your brain figures out how those words should sound and then looks for that in what you're hearing. If your brain naturally dials in on a deeper voice, like in the original recording, you'll hear Laurel. But if you hear more of the boosted higher frequencies, you'll hear a more robotic voice saying Yanni. If you hear a combination of the two, that's your brain combining the two words to produce a new word, just like combining primary colors produces other colors. Most videos on YouTube use pitch shifting to try to help you hear both Yanni and Laurel, but personally, I think this is the wrong approach. Yanni. 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 It kind of works because it's adjusting Laurel. the sounds you hear lower and higher with hopes that your brain will recognize another word from the pitch sound. It's my belief that you can get better results by EQing certain frequencies to be louder than others. This way, it's the loudness of certain frequencies that helps you hear different words, and using this method, once you hear both words, most people can mentally switch back and forth and hear whichever word they want to at will. Laurel, 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 Laurel. Laurel, 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 Laurel. And time. Did that help? If not, try listening with a pair of headphones on. The more times you listen, the better chance you have of your brain developing a rhythm out of the soundbite, and that can help. Tell me how this went for you down in the comments below. But in the meantime, tune into more episodes of Sound Speeds in the future for more sound analysis and sound advice. Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.